The question is, evaluate the following when you're given x squared y to the third plus 2xy minus 3. Now, when you have a polynomial, um, basically x could be any value, y could be any value. Um, but we're, we're asking, well, what happens when x equals 2 and y equals negative 1? So what we're going to do is we're going to plug those numbers in here. So for instance, x equals 2, we're going to put a 2 there and a 2 there. y equals negative 1, we're going to put a negative 1 there. So let's go ahead and do that. So what is x equal? x equals 2. we got 2 squared, and we have y, which isn't y anymore, it's negative 1. Put that in parentheses. Bring down my plus. 2, what's x? x is 2. What's y? y is negative 1. And then I'm going to subtract 3. Notice how I don't plug x or y in there because there isn't an x or a y. Now we're just going to do math. 2 squared means 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. What's negative 1 to the third? What's negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1? So let's think about that. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Well, two negatives make a plus, so that would be plus 1, and a positive 1 times a negative 1 is negative 1. So this is negative 1. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and then we have a minus 3. Now let's keep doing order of operations. Now you might be tempted to do this first, but remember, you want to do multiplication before you subtract. So 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Bring down my minus 4 and my minus 3. Minus 4 and minus 4, two negatives when you add them, it's still negative. And then another negative when you add it, it's still negative. So you owe me $4, you owe me $4, you owe me $3, guess you owe me $11. So my answer would be minus 11.